Hey there, this is Super Dave. I'm just here uh, building my new positive and negative static meter. And I want to thank Mike St. Clair for his videos. And uh, this will be the first portion or the first video to show you how far I've got. And right in front of me, this is called an NTE 451. And uh, as you can see on uh, the um, plastic bag, it says UHF and VHF amp, basically. So um, it is actually going to act as an antenna. And it's down here. I'm going to point that out to see if I can get here. OK. So anyway, you see three prongs. To, as uh, they say, you need the rounded part facing upwards and the prongs facing towards you. Now, these two here are your positives. Now, they're going to go to the power. So actually, this one here is going to go to the LED, and this one here is going to go to the toggle switch. This one here is the actual aerial. And eventually, on here, as you can see, there is an LED, and uh, along its path, um, there are some resist resistors because uh, some LEDs uh, are going to be overpowered by your 9-volt battery, and you don't want that. So that was recommended to me to get that on the line. So that's on the positive portion, which is the longer prong on the LED, and there is a shorter prong, and that's going to go to the negative wire on the battery, which is going to go to the battery. Okay, so we're going to pan out here. Here is the project box. Going to look nicely inside there. You can see already that I have mounted the toggle switch, and we're going to see. You can see the battery. See how close I can get in there without. Okay. Going to make this so other people can see. On the toggle switch, dead center is where uh, the power is actually going to come from the battery. Okay, so that's important first. So the power, the red wire, is going to come from the battery, okay, from the positive terminal, and it's going to go directly to the toggle switch to the center, no matter what. Now you can choose either the left side or the right side of the toggle to uh, wire in a red wire on either side, which then will go directly to the LED, okay, to the LED positive, okay, you can see that, and we'll have a close there, and that's buried deep inside there, so you won't be able to see that right away, I'm going to flip it over and you can see, but anyway, from the LED, okay, as you can see there, there's a path leading down, we're seeing, uh, a little bit hard to see, let's see if I turn the light on, okay. You can see dead center as what I've wired in, which is that NTE 451, which is your aerial. And it's, it's along the positive path, okay? That's very important. Now, along that path, which goes to the LED, um, then it has to be uh, grounded. So from the LED, there's a wire, right? Oops, sorry. Gonna point to see if I can point right here, right there. Yeah, that's the negative, and you can see that it's it's soldered onto the negative. It's gonna run underneath. See right there, and it's gonna run back to the battery. That is one complete circuit. Okay, so then what we do, since this is really just kind of half done, and we're gonna turn it over, and you can see here. Okay going to turn it on, okay, and I just turned the light off on that. So I'm going to take it over here, and you can see it's mounted for two LEDs. This is my first one, okay, there's the green light, okay. So right in front of me, I have a spatula. I'm going to rub that on my arm, okay, oh, and you can see right away, that it goes out and that's about a good eight inches eight inches away so you can see that there is a charge happening there so there is a all right there okay there is a positive charge i believe so we're going to find out i could be wrong between the positive and negative but um we're going to find out but you can see that it actually works so that is the first part of the video 
and you can see right there, there uh, there's a little clip which is clipped onto the aerial that kind of gives it a little bit more, um, it amplifies it just a little bit more and we're just going to work on that. So there you go, that is the first part of my video, okay? Thank you. Talk to you again.